waves at the back of the grid. The lights are building, so is the anticipation here at Suzuka as we go racing and it's Matsushita with a good start. He's not going to be threatened down into turn one. He's going to get there first. Oyu, it is under pressure from the two Dokomo Dandelai cars. And look, at is that Tomoki Nojiri going all the way around the outside? I think it is, you know. And Nojiri is going to settle in to third place. There's raindrops on the camera lens as they weave their way around the snaking first sector here at Suzuka. Matsushita has got the perfect start from Toshiki Oyu. And it looks as though it's Tomoki Najiri in the Team Mugen car. Yes, it is. There he is in third place. Now, that is a good start from the champion, brimming with confidence. It hasn't gone all the way of the Dokimo Team Dandelion cars. I think that I feel Kazumi it is that has settled into four. But Makano looks to have been bumped back. And Hiroki Otsu has got in the mix there as well. In the second of the Team Mugen cars, a good start from Hiroki Otsu. He's going to be up a good three places on the push to pass at the moment. His roll hoop flashing. As is that Giuliano Lacey getting in the mix uh, further back? Or is it Ritomo Miata? Miata's made a Horlicks of things as Hiroki Otsu gets the move done into 130R. And that's been a good lap for the Team Mugen cars. What have you just seen, what, Jamie? Just what, yeah, just uh, what, what Mugen needs to, for the team's title because uh, Nojiri really needed to clear both of the Dandelion cars uh, because the Mugen team is only represented by Nojiri in the team standings. And now, challenging Oi for second place. Tomoki Nijiri looking very, very good. Or you trying to juke it out on the outside. That's not going to work. I think it's going to be Tomoki Nijiri that holds on. <laughs> Look at this racing. I told you it wasn't going to work. Side by side through this snaking first sector was never going to work. And he's got on track and bought the train behind Hirakawa. I think that was. To Nijiri. Nijiri had the inside line. And I think that was uh, a little bit uh, unnecessary. Uh, Know, trying to hang on for too long on the part of you in my opinion there. Yeah, I share those views as well. Nidai Fukuzumi now coming around the outside of Hiroki Otsu who won last time out on the push to pass and you can see the advantage from that overtake system and Otsu activated his because his roll hoops flashing don't forget. I'll tell you what, Hirakawa's on a march. He's historically quite good around here, and here he comes again around the outside of Hiroki Otsu. So Otsu's got past on the main straight, and he's about to get past again. I think there was a puff of smoke there as the two cars touch through 130R. Oh, it doesn't get any quicker than that anywhere in the world, and that was great Race. stuff. Yes, yeah, almost the exact same thing. So, and the, the tyre pressures as well are raised to, to try and protect the tyre as well as Ritomo Miyata, one of the returnees has rotated the car at Spoon Curve. Now, he had a good qualifying, top Toyota. Yama, they were on cloud nine yesterday, but luck can turn so fast in the sport. That's Kuro Matsushita with his drive through penalty. That's gonna drop him right out of contention to the back of the field. And his and BMAX's hopes of a win today have just evaporated in the glimpse an eye there see so I think some teams are getting ready to bring their cars in it's uh, pretty common to see some drivers uh, go for the minimum I think we're gonna see Matt to pick off Tatiana Calderon some rumblings this may be Calderon's final outing in Super Formula um, but a lot depends on her sponsors and their willingness to continue Lacey is in uh, and I think one of the KCMG cars uh, Good boy also uh, also came in. We talked much, much about him all season, really, considering how much of a struggle it's been. Um, it but yeah, going back to the Calderon thing. Yep, slow stop for Makino. That is a big shame. For, for the team, as well as Makino's efforts. That's uh, that could be pivotal for the uh, team's title. That could swing it back in favour of Mugen, assuming that Nogiri uh, is able to to keep it. Uh, 
keep it under control at the front. It's all you leaving the pits, isn't it, with Saboya right behind. So I feel like Saboya's potentially gained a bit of ground there. Yes, he could be. And this is another pressurised stop for Docomo Team Dandelion. They've got to get it right this time. Yeah, I think it's their the only chance for Fukuzumi, or the best chance certainly, should say, to get Fukuzumi ahead in Algeri. Nakawa often likes going for the playing the long strategy, so we'll see if he does that again. Obviously, the, the risk of rain is completely abated now. That there's a bright, well, a brightish blue sky. In fact, you can see quite clearly there the sun is, is out. Hiroki Otsu did also lose got a place, but but he got delayed because he had to stay in his box whilst those slow runners were making their way down pit lane, which just will have cost him a second or so clean stop for Nilai for Kazumi so this is going to be interesting as you say Jamie what Tomoki Nijiri does here so that was also Fenestraz, Sakaguchi, Yamamoto, Kotaka, Miata and Calderon uh, all came in the pits that time around so we've only got a handful of cars uh, that haven't stopped so far so Matsushita who had passed Calderon before the pit stop sequence to just reappear, Jamie, to cover off the rest of the field because track position is important here. If you have good pace, he has good pace. And this is going to be in this time around. Yeah, they're going to try and cover off the undercut because it looks as though the undercut's quite a good cower in the team impulse car. Put together a string of laps or two to try and jump them both. I'm just wondering, here the cower stayed out and all. So Yuki Sekiguchi has stayed out. Uh, I'm wondering if Impul were going for the, the risky... You have extra lap, heating your tyres up, and you can really attack the car in front. That's what's happened here. And then I thought Kazumi is in the driving seat out front. Can yeah, he I hang think, uh, they probably think that they've at least got a chance of jumping Mojiri for second, even if not Fukuzumi for the, for the win. I think other lap times have dropped off, so Fukuzumi will get Hirakawa now because of the heat in the tyres so watch Fukuzumi come flying past Hirakawa there you go that's the difference Shita got the penalty which is a, is a sickening blow for him and you see a replay of how Nidai Fukuzumi overtook Tomoki Nijiri big differential of pace in this first sector one car on warm tyres one on cold time to win the race before the final round to win the championship before the final round Tatsuki Makino here oh there's a bit of contact as Makino touches Giuliano Alesi 10th and 11th now yeah they've got a change of position here that is Yamamoto actually passing his teammate or what was that 10th position right I'm going to quickly attempt to uh, calculate the teams uh, if Sepikuchi is in fourth so I'm going to quiet for a little moment while I try and get my brain around that one. Send way second. back up the field and you know for Matsushita and B-Max they'll be absolutely gutted with what has happened. That's a good move from Matsushita all the way around the outside out of 130R and into the chicane and Hisekiguchi. I think for Otsu, yes it's a reasonably good stop. Yeah, that's about as, that. yeah, I was going to say, it's anything less than seven seconds, I think, in this championship is pretty decent going. Let's see where he comes out. Yeah, he's ahead of uh, the Engine advantage. Um, yeah, we had six Hondas out of eight in Q3. I think it was all bar Yamamoto and Calderon. Here comes Otsu. Around the outside here, is going to break really late there. He's not going to allow Otsu to get around him. But nevertheless, Fukuzumi is going to win here in Suzuka, the final round of the year. The checker flags out, the fists are pumping. Hirakawa across the line in second. Tomoki Nijiri, the champion. Good. I said there was a handful of drivers in the mix for that fight. Fukuzumi fifth going into this weekend. Looks like he's come out for second. Second Gucci had to, had to 